All right, this is a Formula 27 PC, 1999. She's going up for sale. Just gonna give you a virtual tour. We just had it detailed. The hull is shining. From the top down. Give you an overview of uh, some things that I did throughout the years. Um, I moved the the bird up to the uh, formula name. I didn't like it below. I replaced the side vents from the plastic ones, the stainless steel. Up here, the navigational lights I replaced with stainless steel ones. It was a lot better than the plastic ones that fade. Come around to the back. Ladder down in the center here. Stainless steel. Over here you have your electric input, your water inlet, um, your waste. And there was also a connection for phone and cable, obviously, which we don't use anymore. Take a look at this side. We haven't bottom, bottom painted her yet, but uh, that's the last thing I need to do before she's ready for the summer. You can see the hull is shining. She's in really good shape. Bravo 3 drives, she's all painted up with uh, anti-fallon paint and zincs, new zincs. A couple years ago, I replaced the gimbal bearings and both drives got uh, new seals on them, rebuilt seals. Right on the back swim platform area. You have the water fill. You got a shower, wash down, hot and cold. Inside the cabin here. It's pretty roomy for a 27. A little storage space in here. Also underneath the captain's seat, storage, got a sink, just cold water here, two cup holders underneath the sink here, you have the uh, battery on and off switch, fuses, and a uh, fire extinguisher and a little area here and make like an ice chest. I also store my uh, some cleaning supplies in these holes here. All right, you flip this up and you got your back seat. That flips up and you lock it in down here. And now you have a little storage in here. put my ropes and uh, my buoys back here. You also have your shore, your shore power uh, main breaker. That's with the back seat open. Front passenger seat with the window into the cabin with screen then the captain seat over here captain seat this flips up and allows you to, a little more room to stand up while you're driving i 
access panel to additional wires up to the shifter cable and dashboard. Fume detector, another uh, fuse panel, external speaker for the VHF radio. Over here, VHF, I upgraded the VHF radio about uh, two years ago. New steering wheel, I redid the gauge panels with a wood grain, replaced all the gauges. You have your trim, you have your uh, flaps, your tabs, shifter controller. All right, over here, your switch panel. We have, uh, I have one underwater light, I'll show you that a little bit later, but cockpit lights, panel lights, uh, your navigation, your anchor light and navigation lights, bilge, bilge pump, your windlass, your main switch to turn it on and the other switch to operate it, depth finder and windshield wiper. On the left hand side, you have your uh, engine compartment exhaust fan, you have your hatch up and down and your horn. You have a volume button for your radio, for the speakers outside. And I had a, uh, this is a bracket to mount an iPad, which I uh, use the iPad for a navigation. And this is magnetic. And I put an iPad mini right there. Worked out good. Dashboard is shiny, all detailed up. All right, steps that lead to, lead to the bow. This window flips up for access to the bow. Everything all detailed, shiny bow. Non-skid skid down the center to the front of the boat. And here's the anchor compartment, windless. Here's your manual controls at the bow, and you also have your remote um, controls at the uh, helm. Anchor has old chain, no rope. All right, from the bow to the stern of the boat, we have a canvas blue top, All right? Uh, when I first purchased this boat, that was the first thing I, I bought was new canvas and new windows. Um, the older style canvas would come underneath the arch and would have little windows of where the lights were. I didn't like that style. So uh, now they have this canvas track that's uh, screwed into the arch here and it stays tightly to the arch instead of going underneath it. A lot better design. All stainless steel, bimini. And then over here, I have an attachment for uh, for the TV that's in the cabin. I could take it out here and um, the wire runs down into this cup holder and goes underneath. And I installed a outlet out here. So I can plug my TV right in here. And while I'm sitting back on my cushion, I can enjoy TV on the outside when I'm at port. Okay, on the arch here, new JL audio speakers. Um, they sound really good. I also replaced the old style lights up here with new ones. Um, all you do is turn it one way if you want blue and then you switch it to the other way if you want white and it makes it it uh lights up the whole cabin area it makes it look really cool at night all right we're in the engine compartment now twin 5.7 350 merc cruisers the starboard engine is a rebuilt only has about 20 hours on it uh, both engines have new manifolds and risers on it. This also has a, a brand new uh, raw water pump. New housing and impeller. Um, 
I put new soundproofing on the hatch. Down in the cabin, down in the engine compartment here, deep in here, we have back all the way in the back is the trim motor. We have the masquerader uh, for the toilet, for the waste tank, which I have never used before. Village pump. Um, we have the trim tabs motor. Over here you have your waste tank. Waste tank filter. You have all your through hole valves. Entry compartment is all painted, freshly painted. Everything is nice and clean in here. Over here is your fuel tank. All right, on the port side of the boat, all the way in the back, we have uh, your trim motor with brand new solenoids. Three batteries, one brand new of this year. You have your charger. Your fresh water pump. This is your heater, your water heater. Down here, let's see if I get a picture of it. This is your water tank. And then you have your generator. Everything fully working. Uh, about two years ago, I rebuilt this whole uh, electronic box for the generator. It was, uh, it was old and it was like rotting away. So I rebuilt the whole thing brand new. So nice and clean in here and well maintained. So got one last thing here. Here's your uh, air conditioning pump, cooling pump with your filter and your through hole all right yeah. also if i got this over here um on the side of the captain's chair is a storage spot for uh a table i'll take that out right now and set it up and show you so that table has two options uh there's a little stanchion where you could drop it down, drop the table down and put a cushion on and now it becomes a, a lounging area or, or you can swap it out and put a larger stanchion and now with the table in the back. All right, let's head down into the cabin. So we'll start off at the front here, the bow of the boat, front berth. This is usually where me and my wife sleep. Two adults sleep here comfortably. So I put a new LCD TV with Wi-Fi. So now when I'm in port, I can watch TV and Netflix and whatnot. All right, you got a, you got a hatch up there. One on either side, port and starboard. All right, port, uh, you got little port windows. Um, you got the screens that go into the hatches. All the fabric um, has been dry cleaned. All right, so we'll go over here. You got a sink, got some storage in here on either side. Microwave, which runs off a of shore power or the generator. Storage on either side. Underneath the sink, some more storage. 
drawer where I keep all my uh, utensils and all the kitchen supplies I'll put in here. Over here is the refrigerator. Uh, this side it opens from. Got a little freezer up top. Vinyl flooring. Back here is where the air conditioning components are. There's the intake vent at the bottom. Over here, I put a uh, so I put like a little garbage pail in here, so I can put bags here and uh, act as a garbage pail during the day. Could easily dump it. Enough room back there. But that's where the air conditioning vent is. Closet, cedar closet. All right, let's go over here. Another compartment of storage. Uh, this is where the amp is for the radio. Okay, over here you got a new radio, Bluetooth. Hooks right up to your phone. You can control it from outside. Your AC controls. New uh, outlet with USB inputs. Um, so over here was where the old TV was. Old style TV. I wanted upgraded, which you saw before in the front here. And I mounted it on the bow. Um, and then I had, I built this cabinet here for more storage put a lot of things in there more storage up top open this compartment here has all the controls for the boat so charger water heater microwave no stove on this boat outlets refrigerator tv control climate control and then over here that runs off of uh, the 12 volt lights refrigerator um, stereo water pump waste pump and the head this is controlled for the generator i got to start and stop it and put the blowers on right from inside the cabin here all right let's take a look at the bathroom so for a 27 footer this bathroom is huge compared to other boats especially larger ones um my family loves the size of this, allows them to take a shower, get ready, get dressed in here, do their makeup, do what they need to do. Um, and you don't feel claustrophobic in it. All right, so over here, uh, up top here, is the shower head. And then up top is the track where there's a shower curtain that goes on there. And the shower curtain goes around the track and it covers the uh, sink area so it doesn't get soaking wet. Over here you have the uh, water indicator. Tell you how much water you have in your tank. Your masquerader button. Your controls for your shower. And then the shower head's up top. And then in here is your um, medicine cabinet. Down here little compartment, put your cleaning supplies and whatnot. Down on the here is your toilet paper holder. And you got a vacuum a flush on this uh, toilet. All right, head back to the stern area and we have your bed back here nice and large it's about a twin size um, both my daughters use to sleep back here together when we did family trips vent for ac curtain like i said everything all the comforters and everything has been dry clean um, and fresh and ready to go 
Uh, you have a little storage back here, whether you want to put your clothes. Right now, I just have my life jackets back there. Full length mirror. Cushion headrest. Uh, up here is a hanger hook. If you want to hang some garments from over there. All the lights in the cabin here have been replaced with LED lights. Uh, you have a CO, your CO meters here. Pretty roomy back here. All right, back to the bow of this boat. Um, under here, lots of storage. Usually have the tools and extra parts on this side of the boat. On the starboard side, same thing. Um, you got the poles for the table I'm stored in there. Front compartment. Lots of room in there. Um, behind this wall right here, which is removable, you have the controls for your windlass. Lots of storage up here. You can put pillows, clothes, anything you need. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the table up. All right, so using the stanchion pole there, I propped the table up. And now uh, you can enjoy some dinners inside your cabin. All right, we're back outside in the main cabin. I put some of the uh, canvas on, all the windows all the way around. So this cabin has a full enclosure. So if you're on a trip or anything and it's raining, um, you'll have full coverage and protection from the elements outside. All right, just a shot with the uh, canvas, full enclosure canvas on the rear here. Side panels, back vinyl panel that has a zipper window in it, your doorway panel, and your other side panel. Okay. And brand new VHF antenna, four footer. Just wanted to point this out. Um, a couple years ago, I made these sleeves, uh, like a hitch res uh, receiver. Um, I have stanchions that come out of here and go straight up and allows me to uh, lock in a table. And I use that as like a partying table. So when I'm docked at a spot, um, I set up an umbrella on there and I use it as like basically a bar or a serving table. It also has speakers attached to it pointing out. So when we're docked and floating on our tubes, I have music projected out towards us. And uh, it's something unique. No other boat really has it. Um, it's custom made uh, and that will come with the boat too. All right, just to sum it up, uh, Formula, 1999, 27 PC, great family boat, great weekend, weekender boat. Uh, spent many trips with my family. I got her up for sale this year. Um, the main reason why I'm selling is because uh, I don't have the time anymore. My kids are older, they don't wanna go on the boat. They'd rather be on the beach, so. Instead of letting her sit, hopefully someone else could get use out of her. For an older boat, she still can compete with the newer ones. Never looks out of style. Got sharp lines. 
It's got speed and reliability. So come check her out, shoot me a message, come see her. She does not come with the trailer, just the boat.